In this video, we're going to do a major maintenance to the 45 gallon cube. Here's the 45 gallon cube. Last trimming I did on this was about a month ago. Other than weekly water change, I have not done any maintenance to this tank. I haven't cleaned the glass, I haven't trimmed a single plant. The Ludwig Repens and Pogo Stemmen Stellatus growing in the back is completely overgrown. It is actually blocking the light to the plants closest to the ground here. The pre-filter for the Whisper 20 hang on back is on the clog side as you can see from the output. And my crypt plants could use a trimming too. These plants up top are starting to get old and a little algae covered. So we'll trim those back and give this new growth underneath here a bit of a chance. The fish are happy and well fed, but aesthetically, it is lacking. Okay, well first thing is first, and we're going to clean the glass. I find that to be the most tedious part of a major maintenance, so I like to get that knocked out first. Okay, now that the glass is nice and clean, you can already tell with the uh, better reflection on the inside panes. Now we'll start trimming back the uh, stem plants. Okay, using a pair of scissors, we're going to chomp right down the line of the stem plants here. When I'm trimming, I'm trying to trim just above the leaf node. Here are your leaves. I want to trim just above them. Where I trim them, on, focus, is right about there. And you'll get two shoots coming out from your cup. I'm going to try to keep everything generally the same height. Now in this setup, the way I have the output running on the uh, canister filter there, all the trimmings I'm taking, it's pushing them all to the front here, making it a lot easier to grab them. Um, that doesn't go for every setup, but it's just how it's kind of worked out for me in this queue.
cutting the plants down will help uh, encourage new growth. It'll also allow light to access the bottom of the tank. And it'll give fresh light to all the undergrowth that was deprived of it when they were growing out of control. Okay, we are done trimming the stem plant in the back. You can see just how much we took off. Trimmed it down about halfway. I didn't touch the mermaid weed. Um, it's struggling a little bit in here, but uh, we'll see if uh, maybe it gets a little more light now that the faster growing stem plants are trimmed down. Next, we'll uh, clean up the crypt. These leaves are still pretty healthy, but they are older. Uh, this one's starting to get a little bit of algae growing on the fringes of it. So we're just going to trim them all back. All these dark colored ones here. Which will allow all of this new growth, these green guys down here, to get some more light and uh, some nutrients. Now I know it seems like I'm really cutting this plant back, and truth be told, I am. But from my experience, what I found works great with this plant is just let it grow and grow and grow for, I don't know, three, four months. Trim back, repeat, and it just looks great and responds wonderfully. Slow growing plant, but once you get it going, I don't know if I would still classify it as being slow. Okay, the crypt is all cleaned up. I'll show you just how much we took off. be hard trimming your plant sometimes because you think oh you know put all this energy and effort making that look big and bushy and I'd hate to cut it and upset the plant because it's growing so well but it really is the best thing for it all right the next step we're going to turn off the filters and clean the pre-filter on the whisper 20 in the back there Okay, using a siphon, we're gonna suck out some tank water into a five gallon bucket so we can rinse out the pre-filter. All right, that should be plenty. Then just turn the filters off. That's all from just a few squeezes of this little guy here. It's amazing how this little pre-filter, this is the small size from Aquarium Co-op, I believe it was four bucks, maybe five with shipping. It was pretty cheap, but you can see just how much gunk that thing has picked up and kept out of the uh, water column. Really is like having a second filter on your filter. I guess that's why they call it pre-filter. All 
Okay. Now we're going to suck out. Uh, I might do a little bit more than my normal 25%, just because we are uh, we're trimming and knocking a bunch of stuff around, and extra water changes can't hurt. Okay, we got our siphon going out the front door. And while we're changing the water, what I like to do is just take a toothbrush. This is dedicated for the tanks. It's not the same one I brush my teeth with. And we're just gonna start hitting the rocks. Start getting some of that diatome off. You don't have to go nuts with it. A little bit of algae actually makes it the, uh, the tank look a little more mature and aged and walk out in nature not everything doesn't have moss and lichen and junk on it now I want to give you an idea of exactly how much we trimmed out of there shame because a lot of these plants could be replanted but unfortunately I can't give them to anyone due to the coronavirus but luckily this is only a month's worth of growth so eventually I'll be giving this stuff out again okay so now we're filling the tank back up I got my strainer set up to help disperse the water going in, not to make such a cloudy mess by hitting the substrate. There's the supply. And that completes our water change and plant trimming. It's a little cloudy. As I've explained in other videos, the way I'm adding the water creates a lot of micro bubbles because the water's splashing down into the bucket and then running through the pump. So it takes about two, three hours for it to really clear up and uh, see the fruits of your labor. So we'll check back in in a few hours. Okay, so this is about two hours later. Not even 100%, but you can kind of see how much I really chopped everything down. It looks a lot brighter. I got to trim up those uh, melon swords there. I always seem to forget about them, but I'll trim those up tonight. Everybody's full of energy, enjoying the uh, fresh water. And that's the maintenance on the 45 cube. Okay, so this is the next day, real nice and clear. You can see just how much we really trimmed down. I know it doesn't look great right now, 
but it will grow in within a few weeks. I cleaned up the melon plants a little bit, moved some stuff around. I did decide to remove the mermaid weed. It just wasn't doing very well in this tank and I think it's because of my lighting situation. I moved the Sawazer Tang ball. It was over here. I moved it over here so hopefully it gets a little more light. Ideally, I did want to completely redo this tank, but due to the pandemic currently going on, that's going to have to wait. But we'll see how this matures in. And enjoy what we have. 